Now, ladies and gentlemen, one of my very, very important guests. When we went to Pakistan for Expo, we met with one person. He offered a dinner in the honor of all the people from all over the world. There were around 800 people. It was a huge dinner. And we happened to meet that gentleman. That person has a charisma. The minute you meet with him, you feel as if he has been your friend for ages. He has a contagious smile. He has an excellent brain. One of the wonderful business persons and the person who knows in and out of business, economy, exports and everything. His name is none but Mr. Iftikhar Ahmad Bohra, the president of Karachi Chamber of Commerce. Please give them a big, big hand. He is the head of that contingent as well, Mr. Bohra. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Honorable His Excellency Ambassador of Pakistan in Kuwait Muhammad Islam Khan Sahib Mr. Muhammad Arif Bhatt Pakistan Business Council and Hafiz Sahib MashaAllah Member of OPEC and Agha Saeed Sahib the commercial attache and all uh, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Mr. Abdul Shafi have made a, a big difficult for me to speak here. <laughs> My English is not not so good as you have, but I will try to explain. I will I will try to talk from my heart. Oh, sure. that is better. <laughs> First of all, I would like to uh, give a brief uh, introduction to Karachi Chamber of Commerce, from where I belong, and uh, and the Karachi city. The Karachi Chamber of Commerce is the largest chamber of Pakistan. And it's the eighth largest in the world also. Uh, we have more than uh, 50,000 members. And uh, as you know, the Karachi is the economic hub of Pakistan. And uh, more than 63% of the revenue is generated by only by the Pakistani business community. And I am representing those that, that business community. <laughs> and uh, it's indeed a, a great pleasure and honor for me uh, the welcome and the hospitality you have shown to us and Mr. Agha Saeed have worked very hard and it's what, the day I met uh, the people in Karachi in Expo the, I have decided that we must visit Kuwait also because the Kuwait is uh, a very uh, rich market which is being uh, loosed by Pakistan gradually due to many reasons I will talk at this later uh, talking about the uh, business and uh, business community of Karachi and the economic situation of Pakistan. I think this uh, this is uh, the time to tell you about the uh, economic situation of what, what is the, uh, today's situation in Pakistan. Pakistan is badly affected by the our economy is badly affected by the war against terror since last 13 or 14 years. But gradually we are uh, uh, our economy was being hurt very badly. I'm not going into the politics or th that uh, type of, uh, couldn't make those, those comments. Just talking on the, uh, the uh, e economy, uh, we were hurt very badly due to many reasons. The foreign investment stops coming in and uh, the already existing companies were not expanding due to the law, law and order situation. But now I would like to tell you with uh, a very, I mean, I can give you the good news that now the uh, law and order situation is becoming very good in Pakistan. The, the action against the terror, terrorists was started in September 2013 and it has, uh, we, we have big faith on our army and uh, they have, uh, I mean, uh, they, have, uh, 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 they have fought just like, like the Islamic soldiers of Pakistan and they fought against the ter terrorists. And now the law, another political situation was there in the Karachi and that situation is also coming very gradually better. And now the now things are not like that as you have, as you have heard here before or, or you have seen on the media. The, I have complained against the media also, maybe Pakistani media, maybe the Western media. 
they are not portraying the exact picture of Pakistan or the Karachi. The situation is not like there. I, I am, I am uh, uh, residing in Karachi since last last 40 years. My children are going to the university. We are going everywhere. The city is hustling and bustling everywhere. And because it's 20 million people, it's a very big city. So there may some problems are there. I, I'm telling, maybe in in other cities are also the big in big mega cities. Maybe some problem over there also. But these were exaggerated more in the media. So I I would like to tell my Kuwaiti businessman also that situation is not like that. Even even in these. We were being hurt only by the war against terrorism, and even then, our we are exporting more than 25 billion dollars still today, and we are we our imports volume are more than 45, 46 billion dollars. So we have eight, <laughs> we have uh, 180 to 200 million people. Uh, I mean, in Pakistan, it's not a small country; it's the sixth largest in the world. We are fourth in cotton growing. We are fourth or fifth in the dairy products. In rice, you 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 name the anything. We have that. We have deep sea ports. We have four seasons. We have five rivers. We have the beautiful scenery in Pakistan. You go everywhere. You can see <laughs> what is what is Pakistan. The Pakistani people know what is Pakistan, and we love our country. And uh, the the business community of Karachi is very resilient. We are there, we will be there, inshallah, and we'll take our country where we want to take it. Take it. There's another, you, you can see the Chinese are a very good friend of Pakistan, and a, a new agreement has been signed. The president of China have visited uh, last month in uh, Islamabad, and we have signed $46 billion uh, projects. Those, I, I, I just missed one point. Our, we are now main uh, short. We are the main problem of our industry, the energy, the energy crisis. We have everything. The industry is there. The people are there. The very skilled people are there. Very innovative people are Pakistani are very innovative. And even we were actually the, uh, the problem was the energy. Now the new government. We must appreciate this government also. They are trying to have more because the energy plant you cannot fix in one one month or two months or three months or six months. It's a, lo a, a long uh, plan planning you need. So now the Chinese investment is coming. So you can see when Chinese are coming, Chinese are not. Uh, they are very wise businessmen, Chinese. So if they are coming, so I invite my uh, other uh, Arab people or all other international uh, investors to come to Pakistan and see, inshallah, in the next three to four years, it will be a very good situation in Pakistan. The, the international media is now giving the label to Pakistan, which, which they were giving another label. Now this is investment heaven. This is, this is the label being uh, given by the international media. So I have to tell these things to you. When Chinese are coming there, there will be more investment will come through, uh, from different countries also. And it's time for you. Uh, our textile products are excellent. You can uh, uh, compare to anyone in, in the world. And our, our leather products, our sports goods, you, you know the, the Brazuka football the soccer, in the soccer world Cup was be, uh, manufactured in Pakistan. And like this we can do, I can, we can do miracles, but we need some, uh, we were being hurt due to, due to that war against the terrorism. And we have the, uh, now so many plants, are, we are making very good poultry also. And we can export that also to you. And another, the, uh, in textile products, we have the uh, personal protection equipment also. So uh, uh, my delegation consists of many very big uh, uh, businessmen from Karachi. In, they are in rice, in textile, in meat. In and seafood and like these products they are here so you can do business with them they are very reliable companies and as president Karachi chamber of commerce actually our tenure is only for one year normally but the Karachi chamber of commerce is very active and very vibrant we can give you all type of information and help whatever you need from us we are very uh, big uh, you can say the research we department we have and uh, like that we can give you all the information about Pakistan if you want to do some business we can give you the information about that company also 
maybe uh, uh, the company which we will refer you must be a very reliable company and you can get very good quality and very good uh, time of sh uh, i mean they they, they are uh, they will honor their commitment also um my uh, miss fatma have have raised one question about the ladies so i would i have already written that the ladies are doing excellent uh, uh, in pakistan we already have one uh, women entrepreneur subcommittee in karachi chamber of commerce and we i personally encourage ladies to do to come in the field and do some so they are uh, they are uh, doing social work also and and doing commercial uh, uh, mostly they are in, in textile business we the three ladies were coming they were part of our delegation here and the problem was the visa which i have to highlight it they could not get i i am it's my surprising to see the many ladies are here i welcome all of you but uh, and you must be in business but why the, uh, your government have not gi uh, given the visa to our ladies i could not understand and i uh, <laughs> give this question to you also what will be the reply so uh, we are doing our ladies are very in in uh, uh, our fashion designing as you if you have seen many of you have seen the fashion show over there you can see what is karachi it's in in, in international uh, the city level of international city it's a it's a cosmetic uh, I mean cosmopolitan city it's a, and uh, we have everything in karachi which you can uh, think about a big city should have so for the ladies i told you the uh, we next time and i i, I would like to uh, raise another point i would like to the uh, the many civil society person are sitting here and the businessmen the high profile businessmen here from the uh, pakistani community also and the, uh, 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 our kuwaiti arab people so they should put some pressure on the government to relax the visa of uh, the business community especially i for first of all i would like to go on this phase also that they should uh, uh, the, the business more the business people come here the more business will uh, increase between pakistan and kuwait pakistan and kuwait are friends since many many years very many years we have i, I have seen the uh, pak uh, pak kuwait investment company in pakistan since long time and they are doing excellent work also but could not understand why these things happens in uh, uh, our two countries so i wish and i pray to allah that uh, all muslim muslim are very a uh, big power i am not a polit politician but little i would like to uh, tell about this actually we are being affected are being targeted and we are not uh, united if we will unite all of us you see that now the muslim world are in problem as we are fighting with each other it's not good so we must have to be united someone is taking advantage of that and uh, by dividing the muslim umma and i pray from allah that this uh, we should think about this the void happening we can th uh, think ourselves and we should find some solution also so and uh, anything uh, i think i have spoken much and i again thank you all for inviting me here and it's a great honor for me and um, excellency have done i mean they will embassy have done a lot of work to to, uh, to invite us here and we would i am very much hopeful that the business inshallah will increase gradually it's ice breaking i think uh, this delegation is here and uh, more delegation will come inshallah and more business will be developed and i again i assure you that the business you will we will uh, do with now in pakistan the pakistan is now changed you will get good quality and good uh, good service and uh, every everything will be good and thank you very much and pakistan zindabad